Now we know a bit about CVP analysis, we can actually calculate the CVP formula and that's what we need to figure out the break even point. And we're going to use a couple of formulas. So the first option is to calculate the number of units that need to be sold in order to break even and or achieve a desired level of profit. So that formula will be, we're going to call that the break even point in units. And we're going to say that is our fixed costs plus our desired profit divided by our selling price less variable costs. What we might recognize is on this uh, bit on the bottom here, selling price less variable costs is actually contribution margin. So if you've got either of those figures, you can actually just substitute contribution margin in directly, or you can do it the long way and do the selling price minus the variable costs. The other option we might need to do is to calculate the amount of sales to be made in order to break even and or achieve a desired level. Um, that's in dollar amount. So what we're going to do is we're going to call that break even point in dollars. We're going to take the selling price per unit and we're going to multiply that by the number of units we need to sell to break even. So to demonstrate these, we're going to look at two examples in the next two videos, which will help demonstrate how we actually apply these two formulas.